Today's video will be about using the 3D effect with a font or a monogram. My name is Ann Hine and I'm an educator with Janome. Let's get started. So let me show you a couple pictures of the um, 3D effect. 3D effect is where your underlay builds up under your stitches to make it raised up. So this is a, a 2D effect here. It's very hard to see in, in a picture. Seeing them in person where you can put your finger on them are very um, a lot easier to see the thickness that's here. Um, this is a very modern looking monogram that is one of the templates that's in the program and this is also one of the frames that comes with it and I will cover using frames in another video but here's a I've turned it on its side a little bit to see so you can see the thickness that it is here I have another one here so you can see it's quite thick and this is either the 2d or 3d effect here so here we have the two effects so you, it's really hard and I can show you a picture but it doesn't really show um, as well as when you have it up close and personal. So you want to test these out and see how you like, which one you like and how you like them. You also, when you are stitching them, you also want to be careful about your foot height. You will need to raise your foot height up as you go along to clear the thickness of the stitching. You don't want your foot to get stuck or to ride up on there because when it comes up, when it's not raised up normally, it will release your tensions and you won't have good stitching. So with our software open, let's go to create new. And when I come into create new, I'm going to go to lettering and monogram. So in monogram, I was here earlier and um, I used this font here and I don't really, eh, it's an okay font. We'll see how it works. But you have some choices here on your size. You can put your text in here, pick your font, and then your template. So the templates are here. I really like this template number 15. It's very modern looking, works with a lot of letters. And then your frames are located down here. And as I said, I'll cover those in a separate video. Now finding your font, you're gonna use your drop down. Now your XPG, XPG ones here, these are the fonts that are pre-digitized in the software and then you'll see some that are just true type fonts up here these are the true type fonts so one of the true type fonts I really like is um, kiss BT let me see if it shows up everyone will have slightly different fonts depending on what is in there you can also bring in fonts from other places and load them into your computer all right, so this is the, the very modern one I used for my samples. Now that I have it where I want, I'm going to select OK. Now, I'm going to just click in my sequence window to select my, uh, my font. If I want to take my monogram and make it larger, I can make it larger. I, you do want to remember, though, as those satin stitches get wider, they're also a hazard of being caught on things. So you want to take a look at that. And you are building up a lot of them, so they are wide to begin with. So you want to be careful about that. So now that it's selected, my um, properties window opens up here and I want to be in fill because I'm going to change from a step fill to a satin fill. The step fills don't build up on each other, uh, but the satin will. So I'm going to check satin and then I'm going to come down here to underlay and click underlay and then open the underlay window. This will give me the 3D effects right down here. So we'll start with 1D. How it works is as it stitches, it goes over itself several times to build up the thread that's there. We can see this when we go into slow redraw. So we'll come in here, let me put this, the speed up, and then we'll get this started. Whoops, there we go. I'm gonna use the, my cursor right on the circle and move it along so you can see but we will also zoom in a little bit there. Now, it's gonna make its passes going back and forth. So here it goes up in the middle, back down. So it doesn't have as many passes because this is 1D. Let's change it. We'll come back in here to our properties and we'll change it. Let's look at 5D so you can see what 5D looks like. Definitely test these out because um, that way you can really see 
how thick they are and if it really works for the letter you're working with. Here we go. Let me just scroll in better. There you go. So it's made one pass. It's going back up. Making another. And it'll keep going up and down there until it fills in the whole section before it moves on to the middle. So I'm going to make it move ahead a little bit faster. Here we go. It's like watching paint dry or water boil. But you can see as it goes back and forth, it's filling in more and more until it makes its last pass and then it moves on to the next section. And there it goes. So that is using that 3D effect in your underlay. It's very easy. Just have to remember, pick your, pick your monogram, turn it to satin, come to underlay, and then open your underlay picture here. So you have that. All right, let's try working with just a letter. So I'm going to come in here and pick a new page. I'm going to go to lettering and text. And when I come up here to text, I can type a letter up here or a name if I wanted to. Um, but I need just a letter. And you can see here, this is a pre-digitized font that comes with the program. There's uh, 230, something like that, of these in here. Maybe they're numbered. Oh, here we go. See, there's even more. So there's a lot of them in here. You can use, there's a little tiny scroll bar off to the side. It highlights when you get over there. And then you'll move into the true type ones. So you'll have all your true types here. These are the ones, as I said, come with your computer. They're not digitized ahead of time. They, they are pre-digitized when you bring them in. These are pre-digitized already. Sometimes you'll have better luck with a pre-digitized one over um, one that, uh, other than a true type one. All right, I'm going to select my A. I am going to make it a little bigger because it's not even an inch tall here, I can tell even by looking at the bottom, but I know my boxes are an inch apart, so I can make it a little bit bigger. So there we go. Again, you want to, you want, don't want to go too, too large because you got to look at the space that that zigzag is making so that the satin stitch doesn't get too large and it's a hazard to be caught on things. So again, I can select it. It's a satin, a satin. I'm going to do um, underlay and then click in there and I get my different underlays. So let's try, we'll do a 3D on this one and we'll go to stitch flow. Oops, slow redraw, I'm sorry. And here we go, we'll let it stitch. I'll make it go faster. We can zoom in a little bit so you can see. So it's making that first first satin stitch pass in the middle. That's It'll go back up, making another pass going to have to come down again to fill in. It's going to keep going till it fills in that whole area. Now these are really fun to use. Um, they make great um, presents if you're doing a monogram for someone. Maybe a framed monogram would look be really good. But remember, as I said, watch the height of your foot because that's what's going to get caught. So here it looks like it's almost on its last pass. And it's going to go up one more time to finish off before it moves on to the rest of the letter. And there it goes. So it'll continue on stitching like that. There we go. Now I like using the slow redraw feature. I've used it here a couple times today. It can show me what's happening with my stitch out before I bring it to my machine. So if there's something I want to change in there, maybe I want to edit a stitch or something, I can see where that stitch is before I start making changes. So it's very helpful with a lot of a lot of different embroideries. So here, here it is with your 3D effect. Remember, select your lettering or your monogramming. Go into your properties, make sure it's a satin fill, and then go to your underlay and pick the underlay that you want. I hope you enjoy this and have a lot of fun. Thank you.